Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Fallback352. Um, I'm trying to keep my cool right now because this is the third time I had to record something because people keep barging in. So, like I ended up saying in all the other recordings I've been through, I went off on my own time and... What does it say? I went off... Excuse me. Buying a card to freaking get here now. I can't hear anything. Why? Okay, so we're going to read the backlog real quick. So, ow. Um, what the, I can't hear. I oh, remember in their hearts, yada yada, why it looks so painful. You don't know nothing about the boys, do you? But maybe she will go down how I use my mouth. Dog girl, tongues can heal wounds. So yada yada. Yeah, so what's with my volume all of a sudden? Hold on. Let me fix this. So we're going to go out. We're going to go back in. Nope. I have to click out and click in. Great. I'll see you guys there. All right. So we're logging back in. But like I said, I went out, bought myself a card. Yeah, there we go. So like I said, I went out, bought myself a card. And... Kind of cheated a little, but not for that. They're staring at. Wait, what are you? <laughs> I look down only to see my morning glory in full glory. <laughs> no, wait, dude. Except I'm from under my pajamas, poking the fabric up. Well, I can make it go down for you. Uh, I broke something. Oh, okay. She jumps on the bed. Ugh, this is too much energy for the morning. Catch up was close and until her nose is a few inches away from it. I don't know what's happening here. I honestly don't know. You sigh and explain. Um, graphic 18 plus material, I think, right here. I sigh. This is per this is a perverted way to greet us in the morning. I think our mouths could be a lot better than a pillow. Ooh, is this the game? She runs around in a circle, eyes alert. No! Look, this is part of me. Look, this part of me is naughty. It is inappropriate. It is inappropriate for you to touch or stare at it. Do you understand? Lily tilts her head, clearly at loss. Both dogs keep looking at the pillow. Maybe they're going into heat. The idea is disturbing, so I shake my head, clear my mind from it. I check the time. Damn, I overslept. <clears throat> well, at least, well, at least you two forced me to wake up. I usually need a coffee before my brain turns on in the morning. I'm like a zombie in the morning. I remember how we used to. I have to drag you out for a morning walk each day. I can't read. She chuckles closer to me. I sigh. Okay, then. I get the hint. Let's go. Oh, oh my god, I hate that. I'm stunned by how much energy the two have. If they had left me to my own devices, I would probably still be on the sofa. This is a lot better than hitting the snooze, alarm, snooze button on my alarm. 
And then the dog roams around isn't all bad. Master, we need to get a lot done today. How do you know? I want you to win! Really? Even after all my scolding, my... I want what he wants. After our victory sorting out the delivery issue, we both feel like we should help you in any way we can. Again, I feel the warmth tingling through my chest. It's like both of them have forgotten that today is their last day. I'm remarkably resilient, turning into my narrative like an avid reader. They truly want what I want. It makes them happy when I succeed. After letting them off the leash and running around in the floor section, we stopped in the wrong box. Let me read the backlog. Really practically rolls up their sleeves. Okay. Um, what? Whatever you're learning, stop learning. Please. Please. What is the first thing on the list today, Master? The day is short, you know. Both girls will look up at me from, for guidance. Uh, I think back to last night, to our la discussion last night. What discussion? I don't remember discussion. Oh, yeah, I have to send them home, I think. What's wrong with you? I wonder, perhaps this burst of life will do me good. Looking in their eyes, I I remember a shadow that I want to forget. Yet their eyes beam in pure joy lights their expression. Wait, what? Yet their eyes beam in pure joy lights their expression. Okay. That's the reason. They remind me of part they remind me of that painful time in my life. What? That is why I've tried so hard to get rid of them. What am I really running from? Reward them for being good dog girls or turn away. Number one, I put my hand on both. Let's see, what's my hand? Now, I saw an inside edition. Some woman. I don't know your name. Oh, sorry. sorry. Sorry, I don't know your name. But she she had like a, 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 a teeny little cut on her hand. And when her dog licked it, it's like she got frostbite on her arms and hands. She had to amputate all her fingers, her hand. Like, her entire arm had to be amputated. Her, like, both her arms and both her legs had to be amputated. And I feel so bad for that. Hey! I laughed, however. Cat ta cat's tail waves quietly enjoying the attention. I've become a morning person again, it seems. This, is, this feels like a good way to start the day. Suddenly, I laugh out loud. I don't care that it's uncontrolled and slightly emotional. Do you think he's having a mental breakdown? I turned to both with a grin spre spread on my face. You two are surprisingly quick to forget certain things. They tilt their heads in synchronization. Too incoherent. In, in a sentently. I always liked going for morning walks. Funny how I'd forgotten how it... Gets me speeding along my day. Master? Even Cat uses the title this time. They, they sense that they've won. I can't do this business alone, but I refuse to be burdened by complaining or laziness. Master! They practically shake with excitement. It seems like they have completely forgot about my previous decision to send them back. I will fight everything in your corner with everything I have. Them again. To think I've been wrangled by dog girls. Okay. Huh? I want you two by my side. Let's reach for success together. Then I kneel down, putting out my hand. Theirs are small as they place. Theirs are as small as they place a hand in each of my yes. Trusting you. Both nod, seemingly overcome with feelings. Too much to speak. Cat tries to say something. I ruffle her again. I ruffle her hair again. I ruffle her hair again, smiling. Let's make it official. I have a surprise for you. I walk in the direction of home with my dog girls, hand in hand. I had these outfits made in advance for your birthdays, but suddenly this. Opportunity seems like an equal use. 
I will open my wardrobe and lay on lay the two maid uniforms on the bed. I know how much you and my little sister like to role play. So I thought, holy sh they shook the background. Before I could finish, both dog girls jump on me. Ah, 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 that's too heavy. We topple, and we topple to the floor. That's that we love you. I am pleased. Cat speaks in a deadpan tone. Face hardly changing, but her hug said many more words. Okay, I'll leave you to try them on. I hesitate. Um, what is it? Don't you like the dresses? Lily holds hers with a look of confusion. Cat seems just as concerned. It looks too complicated for Lily. Would you help us put them on? Uh, a swallow, knowing it will involve me seeing them slip down into the underwear. <laughs> I have a hundred rubies. <laughs> um, graphic 18 material. 18 plus. Look away, children. <laughs> I take a step, chewing my lip. Cat's mouth parts open suspiciously, and I can see her tongue moving around. Something tells me Lily's the only in innocent. Oh, innocent! Dog girl in the room. But I have to help them. Dog girls aren't good with fitty things on initial sight. There's a chance they'll ruin the dress dresses by getting distracted by playful stringy bits. We still have a lot to do today. Okay, this should only take a second. Lily says for holding her arms to the ceiling. It reminds me of when I had to do everything for them when they were pups. But now, their bodies are developed. It feels different. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I refuse. Do I have to? Fine. Yay! Naked, naked, naked! Mm. No, I'm not gonna strip you new. And surely you're able to do that yourself. Master should not pretend he isn't interested. Now she calls me Master. I'll show you, I'll show one of you how it's done, and then you'll know. Pick me, pick me! Undress cat or undress the light? Ah, I know! So it's naive or innocent? Naive or innocent, naive or innocent. Hmm. Sorry. Cat, you're next. Okay, let's get this done and over with. I grasp the fold of her dress by her thighs and paws. Her body is soft and warm, making my breath speed up. My hands slide, making her. <laughs> no, 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 no! Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. I okay, I gotta pee. Okay, I'm back for some reason. I should not. I don't know. I should just put this in the title. 18 plus material. If this gets age restricted, blame me. Okay, I decided to. Play this game like the non pervert I am. I think the people that developed this game are perverts, but you know what? It's a fun game to play. Making her fine, you know what? I'll say it. Making her breast jiggle from the movement. Hey, that's a human body part, so don't copy or don't age restrict me, YouTube. Lily's eyes dilate. Suddenly, Cat smacks Lily's butt. Oh, come on! Cat! Don't worry, she does this all the time. She does it all the time? Can I read English today? It's a game we play when the other gets distract is distracted. Distracted? Yes. Like waking each other up. To tell the truth, for a moment I... Arendus burned her cheeks. I was feeling strange and excited. Being like this in front of you. I didn't accept it. Expect it. <clears throat> I cough to dispel my nerves. <clears throat> well, that's fine. Let's go. Damn, I will play the game with Marcus for reasons of work ethic. Okay. Now practice. I'm so glad it does not show that. Marcus wants you to become a professional voy voyeur. She wriggles her body, showing me the view from the back. No! Just hurry up. There's a lot to do after this. I would rather. <clears throat> I would rather serve customers like this, Master. Could we? A feeling that resembles my that resembles electricity runs through me, but I hide it. 
I make my voice sound uninteresting, trying to hide the fact that her words cause me to imagine not so appropriate things. No, you cannot. We trained you to get used to wearing clothes for a long time ago. A long time ago. Stop messing around. Hmm. These look a bit short. From certain angles, I can see... Angles? Ankles? From certain angles, I can see their... I can see up their dresses. But as long as they don't bend over, yeah, it should be fine. I take down some dishes. Across the room, Captain and Louie are twirling around excited. They pose confident, confidently, thoroughly enjoying how their bodies look in the dresses. In the dresses. You really aren't too different from human girls. At least considering how much you are trying on your outfits. Hey! That's sexist, me! They might have been even... They might be even better than human girls. No, I can't quite pinpoint why that is. Give Master some eye candy as a treat for his gift. Lift up your skirt. What? <laughs> like this? I meant to, I meant to read that, but I, I film fell out of my pocket. I told you, stop fooling around. I signed and discovered the food item I was looking for. I baked it to save. I baked it to save for a rainy day. But today seems as good as any other day to eat it. I can't read. Ooh, wow! This is incredible! She bites into the frosted carrot cake. You have money. Although her tone is neutral. I know this dress dessert is cat's favorite. Lily enjoys practically anything sweet. Cake is her favorite in general. Like mine. I need you to brush your teeth after this to prevent problems. Lily speaks with the Lily speaks with a mouthful eating in the non-stop way dogs do. I wonder if she might fall in the form of pleasure. Yum! What was that? Mm -mm. Oh this? My hands are papers. Those are flyers, I think. I'm surprised Cat has heard of them. My media agent orders them for my events. Cat Meow is such a cool dog girl. Well, yes, that is correct. I am sort of disappointed you acknowledge er, bleh, that you acknowledge my cool coolness. It makes you seem less cool. I am not about to become a fan. I mean, it's correct that these are flyers. Master! Looks so looks like he wants to eat the That is paper? Girl, that's for dogs. <laughs> I laugh, thinking that dog girls are always remarkably deceptive. Well, I'm not too happy with them. The designer did a bad job. The writing is massive and in your face, like a bargain set. I don't want to send these out. They could ruin the reputation of my cafe before it even opens. I want more homely, classy food. All attention is good attention. She takes a large bite of carrot cake, closing her eyes. I think you are too positive. Bad reputations don't work well for food places. We can help you find another way to advertise. Mm -hmm. Yes, we'll see. Hey, what are you? Cat takes the leaflets and starts running around with them. Really swallows our last piece of cake and joins in. I chase them around the room, still in pain everywhere. They might look human, but at the core they have, they still have dog instincts. I didn't make that noise. I watch as the dog girls tug at a toy, at a toy bone between their teeth. Pull! Pull! <laughs> they roll around racing after the bone, trying to win it. They really are dogs after all. Both become a ball of fur and movement. Yes, I'm look yes, I'm looking for something on understanding dog girls. <laughs> uh that's a that has to be a girl. There's no way. Your dog girls are very cute. And they are very well trained. I can tell they were raised well. I come from a family who loves dog girls. However, this is my first time dealing with them on my own. So I decided that I needed more needed I need to know more about the mat mat maturation of dog girls. Sorry. Yes, things become quite complex, so that is sensible. The most important thing is the 
teach them how to speak well. But because they already know how, I think we can focus on books on behavior rather than training. Being <clears throat> being able to recognize certain signs will help them will help you to relate to relate them. To relate them. Um, okay, what do you recommend? Please, would you let me ask a few questions first? They might be a little in me, but you have two other attractive dog girls. And I think they are of, of a certain age where you can expect this usual and sudden behavior. I can help you make smart decisions. Answer the assistant's questions, or say I don't have time. Answer. Cat and Louie both play in the corner. Like dogs. Their dresses are rising high enough to show their underwear, which is embarrassing. But the assistant only smiles knowingly. These are two of the most gorgeous dog girls I've ever seen. Have you thought about making them making them your life partners? I considered it as a thought as a as a as a thought experiment. No way. I scratched my the back of my head nervously. There was nothing to be embarrassed about. Humans often think about partnering with humanoid dogs. What the fuck? That's terrible! I guess she reads my mind. She has a bright smile on her face. This probably isn't her first time dealing with this reaction. Have you ever questioned why doggos existed in the first place? Um, I'm not sure I want to know the answer. Doggos are closer relatives to humans than ordinary dogs. No, it's apes and chimps and monkeys. They are perfectly capable and compatible with them. However, they retain little wilder instincts. Have you ever noticed any voracious behavior? Yes, particularly Cat. Sometimes she, she corners me with with tricky with tricky wordplay. <clears throat> the flea, the Felicia breeds are quite raunchy. They've been known to jump on their selection. Selection. <clears throat> the owner who they most want to take. I think I understand. That's assault. Dog girls, especially ones this beautiful, aren't usually turned down. Uh, yes, they are. I just turned them down last night. I can see that you are a very self-disciplined owner. I admire it. She steps closer to me. Maybe it's maybe it means you have something special about you. There is a long moment of electricity until she breaks eye contact. Is this a bookstore or something different? Not everyone can handle the wildness involved in handling mature human dog humanoids. How long have I been recording? Almost half an hour. You'll be in for a roller coaster. Let me show you some books. The attractiveness of a dog girl almost con coincides with her behavior. Oh no, wait. Watch Mojo. The attractiveness? Uh, uh, -huh. uh hmm. Because yours could be models, they will. Wait. Is it the Felicia breed on the television? I explained to her. I explained to her about Cat Meow and her ad appearances. Well, as demonstrated, the dog girls have a high lib libby libido. Libido. You mean a sex drive? I have no doubt about it. She licks her finger and flicks through the pages of a discreet velvet book. It's called Hot Girl Hot Dog Girls and Their Signs. <clears throat> the title seems inappropriate. I recommend this one. It should give you everything you need to know. Most of your confusion can draw can be drawn to instincts. All of all which are covered in this book. Lastly, there's something you should know. I arched my brow. Hold on, wait. I arched my brow. I'm quite sure both of you girls are in heat. In heat? Yes, which means they'll be constantly thinking of sex with the highest ranking male available. She pauses for a moment. I suspect that would be you. They were constantly thinking of having sex with me. What do I do? I can't really make that decision for you. What does that mean? 
It's just good to be aware of it. Okay. Looking at the doll girls, exhausted in the corner. I'll buy that toy boy also. <clears throat> we walk in the park and have more hot dogs. Once we return home, I lay on the dog girl. I lay the dog girls out on the sofa. Both are tired out from chasing each other and play fighting over the squeaky bone, the squeaky toy bone. Lily opens her eyes an inch sleepily. Arthur, will you always be there for us? Lily. She looks deeply into my eyes. So beautiful, so strange, so surreal. I feel like I want to spend the rest of my life with you. But can you say it too? Don't ask those questions or yes. Uh, none of your business. I don't intend to let you go. Lily. <clears throat> Lily smiles sleepily. The mouth parts open like cats had this mor like cats had this morning. I open my new book and search for the behavior. When your doggo Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let me read this. When your doggo's mouth parts open, she's thinking of using her tongue on you and intimately. Intimately. Oh, sorry. I pull away from her, not wanting to incur you. But my eyes linger on the figures of the girls. I guess my will, images of the humanoid pups running around sw swim through my mind. Go to sleep. But I feel a sinky feeling in my stomach. I can't meet with dog girls. What am I doing by building an attachment with them? I'll end up breaking their hearts, just like the other one. An image of shadows appears in my vision. Her. Who's her? Ooh! Okay, okay, okay. We'll go one more. We'll go one more. I think for Christmas I'll get another card and I'll just start buying cards from now on. Who's her though? I'm actually nervous. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 Copyright. Copyright. Da da. Her. Is what we left off. Chime chime. Wait, what? <clears throat> Welcome to the cafe taco. Chipotle. Oh, thanks, then. We are pleased to serve you. Lily, you don't have to speak so quickly. Time, time. Another customer entered, adding to the others who are already sitting there in the cafe. I didn't expect this level of numbers. And even when we've been open for an hour, a test company to see how our operations are. Cat rushes past the both of us. Wait, 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 wait. I've just been exiled from my room. Now I'm in the moment. She speaks just as quickly through her monitor, from her mind, voices monitor. She's copying me. Oh, good. How may I help you? I can make recommendations for particularly good types of food. She's frustrated with the overstimulation. I consider her having something today. Take over the serving and not practice being uh, Take over the serving. I step in. Girls, take a seat. I'll handle the customers for now. Is everything okay? Good morning. Yes, we are just we are just training new staff. The dog girls are rather adorable. Agreed. They all chuckle. Cat and Lily beam in the praise. If you take your seat, I will serve you in order. I'll take orders from the cooler. Wanting to help, she springs towards the kitchen but slips. Boom! A table skids, spilling the utensils in a vase holding a flower. I rush to help her up. Lily, are you okay? I can't see any cuts or obvious injuries on her, but the fall had been sudden and loud. Cat bends down to help help us. A look of worry on her face. The customers gather around too. The scene is rather dramatic for the first week of our cafe's opening. Cat talks quietly, so on, so only Lily can, so only I can hear. I think we need more staff. I look at Lily knowingly. <clears throat> An hour has passed, and our cafe and our test run is finished. The cafe is closed once again. Things quiet down and become calm. We've learned a lot over the last few hours. I sit on my sofa on my laptop. What is Master doing? Wait, I think I just screwed up the game. 
Yeah, I just screwed up the game. Let me fix this. Storage space is running out. Alright, well, I need to hurry up and get this uploaded then. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Log me in, log me in, log me in! Jesus Christ! Holy f- My sister's watching American Dad. No, what time is it? 5 8 5 18. Alright, so I have to so I have to finish this episode like fast. Get a coat and some shoes on and get ready to leave my house because we have a concert to go to tonight. And it's not for me. I can't sing. Amazing Grace. That is terrible. Washington, Washington, Washington. Are you gonna load me in? Load, please. Ah! Sorry for that. I just. I think I should stand up for these episodes. Yeah. You know what? No, I'm not gonna turn on my webcam. <laughs> Come on, load. Okay, you know, I'll see you when it loads. All right. Here we go. Oh, maybe it is supposed to work like that. She's curled beside me, pressing against me for body warmth. Her fall hadn't been bad, but she's using it as an excuse to get more affection. I run my free hand through her long hair, distractedly as I go over my writing. Hey, I'm writing a story right now, but it's not like this. Cat pokes her head in from behind the sofa, pressing it against mine affectionately. You two really want some physical contact today. I'm posting an advert for a new dog girl waitress for the cafe. Oh, this is when the, um, um, that one girl on the cover comes into play then. Seeing as the customers seem to like the concept. Ooh. She presses her face very close to the screen. You will find her on this? I decided not to explain the concept of the internet to the girls. They aren't all too interested in technology or phones. It's perhaps the biggest difference between dog girls and human human girls. Oh yeah, human girls are always selfie with the friend with the squad. You know, shut the fuck up. No one gives a f anymore. Like holy sh. Heh. <laughs> you know, my sister can't keep off the phone. Lily misses her. Me too. I'm sure we'll see her at some point soon. I send off the advert and then take a breather from the intense writing. Only a few seconds later, my laptop beeps. Are you f***ing kidding me? I set my laptop down for about two f***ing seconds and I get sh like this. I check my inbox on the job website to see that someone has already applied. What the her photo appears on the screen and we go through her profile for a few minutes. Ooh, she's very pretty. Agreed. Hmm. It says her name is Mia. She looks rather enthusiastic. Anyway, for now, I... There's a bus from the downstairs door. Wait, what the hell? Who could that be? It's... It's the... It's the applicant. That was incredibly fast. I can't have been more... It can't have been more than 10 minutes since I posted the advert. Greetings, I'm Mia, and you must hire me now! Um... Excuse me? What, what's... 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 Was that a demand? Yes, from your advert, I expect a self, a strong, self-controlled master able to handle a girl like myself. Huh. Maybe I will need to take over control of management. Hey, wait just a minute. She steps into the cafe. Mia sizes up Lily and Cat. Do I know you? The two are in immediately at odds. I get the feeling that you are... A very annoying person. These two do not look like they're going to be a good match. I've had I've had many troublesome women in my life. This one reminds me of my ex girlfriend when she's when she's the one in, when she's the one of her controlling moods. Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome to the family. Wait, I didn't say anything about hiring her. Mia turns to me and bows. You will not regret it. I am the most experienced and well-trained dog girl you will ever meet. This will be the 14th cafe establishment that I've worked in. I gesture for her to slow down. 
Dog girls have a way of moving things along very quickly when they get when they get very excited. It is important for me to establish control and authority over the establishment. The hell, my f screen just flashed. Firstly, I didn't say you would be. Firstly, I didn't say this would become your fifteenth establishment. And secondly, it seems very suspicious that you've worked for so many different places. But master, we need her. Not so loud. She's already being influenced by the loud stranger. <sighs> it will be more of a problem if she doesn't get along with Kat. Challenge her qualifications. Says she needs to book an appointment. Challenge her qualifications. Look, you seem very enthusiastic. Exactly. That's why you should hire me immediately. That's that wasn't what I meant. And you don't need to talk so loud. My brain is known to be very loud. I sigh. This isn't gonna this is going this isn't going to be an easy place to work for your personality. I think you're taking this business a little too lightly. And this is a quiet place, not a club. And customers will be demanding. You will be on your feet for hours at a time. You're wrong. Okay, okay. But if you're going to say that, I'm going to need some reasons. Chime time. Suddenly, a customer swaggers in. Sorry, we're not open. No, don't refuse him. Hey, we're, you're not even employed here yet. Do not give out orders. You don't understand. But Cat walks up to the customer, sniffing, and a worried look takes over her face. You see it too? Yes, she is correct. I look closer at the customer's face. He looks ghostly and pale. Are, are you okay? The customer doesn't answer. Just stands there looking around, confused. What is wrong with him? Let me help him, please! Suddenly, er... Something seems terribly wrong. The eyes of the the eyes of every dog girl is panicked. I think it's urgent. Allow... Yeah, screw it. Mia steps up to the man and slaps his face. <laughs> <laughs> you! You cannot! You can't just go around smacking customers! <laughs> now you definitely remind me of my ex-girlfriend. Mia turns to study me. Is that so? I swallow, feeling electricity pass between us. I, I didn't mean it. Yes, you are as back crazy as my ex. No, I meant something else. I don't believe you. I sigh, but I don't make eye contact. To me, it's a good thing that you remind me, you think of me that way. Because you seem cute and cool. Hmm. She is annoyingly fiery. Cat open. Cat's mouth parts open. It reminds me of the way. It reminds me of the love hate. The, it reminds me of the love hate way my ex and I used to look at each other. This Mia girl will definitely cause unwanted trouble. Anyway, please stop interrupting me. I hope this isn't something you'll keep doing once you hire me. Look, I'm not going to hire you. You'll feel differently soon. What does she mean? See, my breed is acknowledgeable in human things. You don't need you don't seem particularly acclimated to a peaceful society. Suddenly, Mia's face grows dark. No, I've dealt with the world with I've dealt with the calm world and more chaotic things. One of my owners was a paramedic, another was a soldier. That's why I can tell this customer has a concussion. A concussion? Yes, please call an ambulance and take him somewhere with a low light. Lower your voices too. Her own becomes soft and she holds the customer's hand. Mia. I watch her quietly lead the customer to a chair. Suddenly, the whole demeanor changes. Okay, I take it back. She's definitely like my ex. One moment she's screaming, and the next she's giving, and the next she's gentle and giving. My head swims. Please, we shouldn't delay. Oh, yes, of course. I rush to take out my phone. It was very sensible of you to call so quickly. He will be fine, thanks to you. He must have hit his head today. He was looking at a concussion. Concussion. I repeat the paramedic's words. They don't quite set in. 
again, thank you very much. I shake my head, bringing me back to the present. Oh no, it wasn't me. Please thank he Thea here. Mia, Thea? The dog go beams at my praise, and the paramedic, paramedic pets her in gratitude. I lock eyes with her as the paramedic pats her head. She is such a beautiful dog girl. I underestimate her intelligence because... Have a nice day. I'm not going to read that. Screw that. We were having a cup of delicious hot chocolate together. The three dog girls licked the drink out of their cups rather than sipping it. Well, what would you expect? Mia's resting on the sofa already at home. Okay. That was quite impressive. I, 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 quite impressive, I'll have to admit. I know. I sigh. As the glib as... she, She's as glib as cat. Having the two of them working together might end up being a tormenting experience. What do we do next? I see my most cynical... 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 Expression, but she has no effect. She is extremely self-confident. Well, I'll have to test you a little more thoroughly before I make a decision. Mia rolls her eyes as though she confidently confident she's already passed. She'd already passed. We have more shopping to do for dinner tonight. Yay! We are ready, Master! Again, Lou seems more louder than usual. Stimulated by a new guest. Stimulated by the new guest. I can't read. Perhaps it's because I mentioned dinner, however. Two bags of cherry filled apples. Done! My game glitched out again. I'll be back. Ow! Okay, I'm back. Three, two, one, go. Wait, how much time I got left? I got 29 minutes! Load! Sorry for the, um, the, um, the loud noises. I just want this to load fast, please. Because I don't have much time. I don't have much time. I don't have much time left on this little house. I mean, I do. I have, like, my whole life ahead of me. But if I get arrested, my life's over. Can tell me what I need. And I don't need it. Okay, I'll be back when this loads in. <coughs> Sorry. All right, well, I hate to break it to you, but I'm not going to get this episode finished. In time. I'm going to set my phone down right here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get my... Oh. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get this episode done in time. Because it's already 5.45, and this episode's taking a lot longer due to the load time. So, sorry for that in advance. Um, I think I have time for ten more, or... Oh, never mind. Okay, let's let's get back in. Yeah, I knew my game was broken. Sorry. So, most of the food aisle and stamps are back. <sighs> I completed your request. Now it's hurry up and make dinner. You are a real mixture of demanding and helpful, aren't you? Will we not be included in this game? Not a bad idea, cat. Of course, I'm amazing. Let's do it! Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe not so loud when we're in the shops, okay? This is a competition! Who's to see who could be the loudest? Not only will the shopping problem be so hard for that for that line to appear. Oh! An elderly woman shop an elderly shopper frowns I mean so hard. That lines appear from one side of her face to the other. 
can I use on this side? I don't want to make miser. I want. I don't want to make miserable old women cheat steam. I show the girls a thing under my lips. I'd, I'll be really impressed if you can achieve this test quietly. Understand? Mm. How would be? How would it be best to test Mia's suitability as a waitress? Make a team competition to focus on Mia. Clearly, we have an excellent noise or an excellent noise. Next, I need you to find me these items. I produce a list of items that I know as a chef have little to no smell, even for a dog girl. I will give you two minutes to achieve everything without causing a scene. Mia's, in Mia's intelligent eyes sharpen. For a moment, I think that she is about to throw in the towel. Instead, she calmly walks up to the store assistant. Oh, well, why aren't you adorable? She goes to pin Mia, but the dog girl moves away. Sorry, I'm in here for professional business. Oh, professional. Well, how can I help? Mia proceeds to describe each food item, each item I've requested, uttering it from memory, uttering it from memory, and stressing the time. The, the shop assistant arches an eyebrow at me. I would appreciate if you can help me gather these on time. Urging the assistant on. Within the time limit, the assistant gathers the items, handing them to me. I must say, you're very, your dog girl is very well spoken, and a little intimidating. I'm upset. I spent a minute making a decision. Okay, well, I can't deny that then. While you, while you're incredibly loud and quite demanding, you make it up. You make up for the, you make up for it with the intelligence, with intelligence and common sense. I think we could possibly use you. We need to pretend you're not swaying. I think she'll ev eventually become the master. Enough of that. Look, let's go home. You want me to walk you with yours? Oh, about that. I will need somewhere to stay as a part of the contract. I'm new in town. And being the only being only a dog girl, it is risky for me to be outside of home. At least by taking me into custody. You can't be serious. So this is so this was one of this was one whole scheme to find a free place to stay. What if I had said no? He didn't. So what was that? I'm dealing with a seriously confident dog girl. I think it has something to do with her being very good at me. I can't deny that she's pretty. I'm going to read my book tonight on dog girl signs in order to figure her out. It doesn't take long for me to reveal more of her personality. I'm sleeping on the sofa while the three dog girls are using my bed. I don't feel comfortable sleeping in the same bed as Mia, though I am curious about her. Suddenly, she appears by, by myself of revealing nightwear. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, I'm currently on my way out the door. So, enjoy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out. Peace, 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 peace out. Head, get stopped.